हाय हैव यू सीन दिस वीडियो बिफोर डू यू हैव अ फीलिंग के ये पहले भी कहीं देख चुके हैं और समटाइम्स इट हैपेंस विद यू के यू गो थ्रू अ मोमेंट एंड यू हैव दैट डेजा वो फीलिंग दैट आई हैव बीन देयर बिफोर आई हैव सीन दिस बिफोर then this video is just for you so that i can give you the explanations that are magically fitting into this hi i'm shilpa rora sharma and i'm a success manifestation coach i help people attain their success by teaching them manifestation techniques and aligning their energies and it's a little different from law of attraction because i also use spirituality into it so that we vibrate naturally high and attain the bliss of the universe in the process all right let's begin with this um deja vu why it happens and i will give you two explanations for this one is as per the quantum physics and one is as per our spirituality so yesterday i was doing a manifestation technique with my team and one of them said mom i have seen this before i mean and i asked her what do you mean by that she said i have a full sense of it that this has happened before ye sab pehle ho chuka hai main pehle dekh chuki hu ki hum ye manifestation techniques kar rahe hain and i said you know this there's a book and she knew what what it meant and then she asked me the explanation and so here i am making the video today on that because i think a lot of us go through it and we look for that kind of explanation that why is this happening with us so i'll give you uh, two explanations uh, as i said before uh, so before that you promised me that you'll watch the video till the end and when you hear the explanation you're going to like this video share this with your friends and subscribe to my channel because that is going to encourage me to make more such videos which which are based on esoteric knowledge which is really really hidden deep inside the books and scriptures and is not available on google and is not accessible to man all right so sabse pehle dekhte hain quantum physics as per quantum physics and spirituality the basic of time is similar like because in quantum physics also because in quantum physics also if you look at it the time is one big moment right and the present the past and the future are all the part of the same entity it it may not exist separately so it means that i am making this video here today and in the same moment you are also watching it somewhere and in the same moment i am making my future videos somewhere and in the same moment i have made my past videos and in the same moment if you are connected with me you are already exploring that connection and getting benefited with my manifestation techniques and in the same moment i am also back you know where i'm just wondering if i'm going to do this so it is happening all at the same time and there there are just different different moments so as for the superconscious i have access to all moments of time and i could just have a sense that what's happening when so i would have access to future i would have access to past if i am awake and even in my non awakened state i could have sense of it that i have seen this before because it exists parallelly and uh, i'll give you a movie uh, which you can watch and they have depicted it very very beautifully inside that movie the movie's name is interstellar and it is about a father daughter relationship where they have shown it that how you could access all the moments of the time at the same time it's a beautiful movie to watch and that's how quantum physics explains it now i'll go to my favorite topic of spirituality like how spirituality is explaining this i got this first in in my favorite book yog vishesh right and <laughs> it's like beautiful beautiful stories to read and and 
I just read this, you know, uh, for you. Because here what happens is Guru Vashisht um, is talking about Saad Musundi. One of the chapters, this is volume 6, and uh, I'm just uh, looking at the chapter 21 slash 27, where Vashishta is talking to this crow. So let me just give you the context of the story. So there is this crow who is living on Mount Meru, and there is a tree on which this crow resides, and this crow never, never, never dies. And this crow has seen many, many, many world cycles. So this crow has seen many, many, many world cycles. So on Mount Sumeru, this crow, Tag Musundi, he, he's there and he's there like since forever, since eternity, because he's seen not just one, but many, many world cycles. He's seen many, many evolutions of Earth when the life was formed. And then, you know, humans came into existence, civilizations came, and, you know, there was a time that it was all dark. Sometimes there were all demons. Sometimes there were all gods. And then, you know, life just kept going on. And then he saw the birth of Ravana. And then he saw Ram. And then he witnessed Ra full Ramayana. And then he went on with the time and he witnessed Mahabharata. And then he witnessed the Kalyuga. And then he witnessed the end of the world cycle. And then the whole cycle started again. And while all this is happening, the Kagusindi he is there just seeing everything. All right. And he is one witness and uh, of everything. So Vashishta is asking him, you enjoy some such longevity. We would suggest that you have attained final liberation. And you are wise. A uh, brave and great yogi. Pray tell me what extraordinary events you remember relating to this and the previous world cycles. So he's, you know, when you go through this book, you know, he's having a lot of conversation about world cycles. And, and Karpusundi is really, really talking about a lot of wisdom. And, and he's also mentioned that in one of the world cycles, uh, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, the roles were also trapped. And he's really literally seen a lot of stuff. So this was like really, really crazy. And it just freaked me out. And I thought I'll share this. So as per this, when when you know that Kaag Basundi is there and he's witnessed many cycles, uh, if you look at uh, some of the Ramayana, the Kaag Basundi is mentioned there. Because he knows, you know, where... Ram is going, what is he doing when he's going to swim, but he knows that it's going to be Ram who will, you know, pick up that Thanush and break it. So he's seen pretty much everything again and again with slight different variations, which is like as good as you can see that you have seen different, different versions of the same story. A lot of people had made you know, first it was Raman and Sagar who made Ramayan, then you got someone else, then you got someone else, and then you got someone else. So Every time you're seeing Ramayan with some variation, and that's what Kagusundi's experience is. Every time there is a slight variation in the story, but main plot of the story remains the same. All right, that Rama is there to kill Ravan, and Krishna is born every time, and he, he's seen, experienced Krishna every time. So, as for him, then if we go by that, I had been born in. All cycles doing the same thing, which I'm doing here now, working with the same kind of people, teaching the same students, uh, making them successful. And I have done this over and over and over again in many, many world cycles. So if I have that feeling of deja vu, like since childhood, I knew that I would be doing something where I'm like very intelligent. I saw myself as in a stormer. Then I woke up and looked at the word and I found meaning. And and uh, I knew like since childhood that I'm born to do something like this and I'm doing it. How could I have that kind of sense? And I meet students often, you know, I'm blessed to meet such students who knew since childhood that they want to do this, this and that. And that sense comes because we have done this many, many times before. So uh, internally, we all know 
what we are born to do and what we will be doing. And there, there, there are a lot of layers here. There is a layer of free will. There is a layer of growth. There is a layer of winning the stream, like how you could just get that salvation in one go. A lot of things are there. And for that, you will have to keep watching me again and again and again on my YouTube channel so that you could upgrade and really, really get empowered with this knowledge of spirituality and manifestation. All right, then stay tuned and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.